Cubs scored 14 and the Mets lost. Hey, Snakes. Hey, Nate. Larry and I just went to the baseball game. And guess who won? The White Sox? No. The Red Sox? No. The Smelly Sox? No, the Chicago Cubs. Get out. Something terrible has happened to me. What? Someone made fireworks out of your car? No. I don't even know what that means. No. Did your socks smell like cheese? No. My wife Doris passed away. Oh, I'm very sorry to hear that, Steve. Well, me and Doris went to the movies together. We saw Star Trek, the motion picture. We drank the same soda together with each straw, and we were eating popcorn. Kirk and Spock were amazing, as was Scotty. But then Doris passed out from eating her popcorn, or so I thought. What do you mean? What happened? Well, it turns out, well, I thought she passed out, so I was going to eat some of her thing, and her popcorn smelled kind of strange. What? Some stupid stranger must have put bullets in her popcorn. Oh, my God. That's terrible. How sad. I hope that doesn't happen to any of my ladies. Nate, believe me. I know it's not going to happen to any of your ladies. Trust me. Well, that's already happened to your wife. I know. It's sad. Very sorry to hear about your loss, Steve. Thanks. But hey, there's plenty other fish in the sea that are not dead. Hey, I'm trying to cope with the loss of my wife. Well, the best way you can cope with the loss of your wife is to pick up chicks who are still alive. And get all cuckoo all over them. Guys, knock it off. What's wrong, Steve? Chicken. Chicken. <laughs> Guys, not enough. I'm trying to get through this devastation here. Hey, guys. <gasps> Darla. Oh, Darla, I'm so happy to see you. Yet still sad. What? My wife Doris died in a movie theater. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Uh, this is my best friend Donna. Hello. My name's Steve, but you can call me the Nerd Muffin. Steven? What a nice name. Well, being a sad sack stinks. I agree with you on that, Steve. It does stink like stinks. Stinky socks. Just like the socks that I'm wearing right now. Dude, don't you ever do any laundry at all? No. Well, you should. Give me your stinky socks. I'll put them in the washer for you. No, Larry, don't. Just let him change his socks, and he can put the stinky socks in the dirty clothes. But I don't want to change my socks. Well, you should. How would you feel if everyone around you are repulsed by the sticky smell of your socks and they go, pew! It doesn't bother me. I might as well buy some socks for them, then stink them up and give it to those people. You're a freak of human nature, you know that? You really are. I gotta start cleaning up this mess. So do I. And Darla, maybe we should start cleansing all of Nate's socks. Okay. Here's your sock. Thanks. But what if I don't want clean socks? Maybe I want stinky socks. You can't have stinky socks, you dummy! Why not? Because it's repulsive, Nate! Alright, let's get to work. What is going on with Nathan and his socks? I just don't want any of the ladies to be repulsed by his socks. What's the big deal with the socks? Socks are socks. Take the nerd's word for it. They're not 
just socks. And it's, he can't clean his own socks. What's the point for him in wearing them in front of the lady? And Donna, would it be okay if I asked you to be a waitress here? Let me ponder this a moment. Please. Pretty, pretty, please. Put the little cherry on top of the trifle. Uh, all right. I can't believe this. I was on my way here to this bar, and this mugger got in the way and took my phone and almost all of my money. Then he screamed at me, and he said he's going to dye my wife's hair black and green and style it like a big bruise. Well, shock me, shock me. He looks so upset. I do not know. Hey, you. Get me a Scotch and Solo and a Rob Roy. Dude, you can't have two of those cocktails at once. You have to choose one of them. Scotch Tape and Han Solo or Robert Roy? It's not Scotch Tape and Han Solo. It's Scotch and Solo. And it's a Rob Roy, not a Robert Roy. Just give me those cocktails, doggone it. Two. I'd like to have both of them. You can't have both of them. Or you'll get drunk and pass mouth gas. So drunk that you'll probably end up talking like this. I need those cocktails now. Dude, screaming at me isn't going to get you any faster than that. What's your name? I'm not in the mood to introduce myself right now. Get me the cocktails. You can only have one cocktail. You can't have both cocktails at once. You, you need one cocktail. Just one cocktail is enough for you. Shh, please. Gentlemen, calm down. You heard the lady. Calm down. Calm down? I'm trying to wait for my cocktails. You know what? Forget it. I'm not going to stay here and choose one or the other. I guess I'm going to leave with my mad lips. Biggest mistake of your life. That reminds us. We should play mad lips. Yeah. You know what? That sounds like a plan. And it's Mad Libs. Oh. oh. You know what? Let's close this bar and go on upstairs and play.